Hi folks, thanks for joining me for this week's River Pattern. In the vice is a peeping caddis. So without further ado, let's get into it. Don't worry, you've not fallen over. The vice is inverted and the hook in the vice is a Hanak H480 barbless hook. This is the Jig Champion at size 10. It's a medium wire hook in black nickel. And the thread I'm going to be tying with today is the Vivas. It's the E01 at 80 and it's in black. So first thing I want to do is secure my bead up around the hook and just build a little on ramp to secure the bead in place. Once that's into, into play, you can take away your rat's tail and add lashings of wax for this pattern and what I want to do is just keep working away building a little ramp here if you like and what I'm going to do with that is add the head to the caddis I've got a little bit of green chanel here and all I want to do is just slightly melt the head. Just give it a sec to cool down. You can do it with your fingers but I want to maintain this little bump here that I've got on the end. So I'm going to dress that up. Now I want it to protrude just past the eye of the hook. No more. You've got to remember that this fly will be fishing as, as you see it now, upside down with the jig hook. So we'll just remove that. So next I'm going to select a partridge feather. It doesn't have to be one of your good ones for uh, hackling. Uh, it's just, I've just picked a big one out and I've stripped away the waist and this is going to simulate legs. Now the feather has a natural curve in it and I want the curve to go towards the eye of the hook. So what I'm going to do is just catch the tip and you don't need to get very many turns with this. I'm just catching the tip in on my side, securing that in. Then I'm going to remove my tag with my snips and using the stock as a handle I can then bring that around. Remember I'm trying to keep as much as I can coming forward and that's going to just do it lovely. So I'm just going to get a lock and turn in there. Excuse my fingers, I'm all thumbs today. And if I just loosen off my vise, I can come in with my snips and remove that stock. Not too bad. Not quite as nice as I'd like it, but I'll try and slick all that forward now. And I'll just lock that into place with a couple of wraps. Sorry if uh, my fingers are in the way here. Like so. Perfect. Okay, I can now bring my vice back round to normal. And I'll take my thread. Once I've added some wax. I should say, I'll take my thread down to the, the bottom of the, the fly. So there we go. That's looking not too bad. If anything, I, my, my leg fibers here are probably a wee bit longer than I would like them, but I'm, I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. Uh, they are what they are. Next, I'm going to catch in some of this stuff. 
Now, I haven't got the packet anymore, but I can assure you this is a chewing gum from FNF. And it comes in different sizes. Now, unfortunately, I would have liked the bigger size for this, but I've only got the small, so I'm going to use it. I've just removed some of the uh, material from the core, and I'm going to capture that in with my thread. Now, I'm not worried about the turns coming back up. Just want to make sure I don't pull all my legs out that I spent so much time getting forward. So with this, I can now build my cased caddis body. So I'm going to have a taper in it. And the way I can do that is simply by, if I had the larger stuff, which I should be using, um, I wouldn't have a problem with this, but because it's a small, it's just going to need a bit more work on my part. So I'm going to go back, probably about halfway, tighten everything up, and it just blends in to each other. It's such a, a versatile material to work with, dead easy to use. Then, once I've got it to where I want it, I'm going to just undo some thread. Lock that in place. Make sure you come in front of your material. Then you can remove your waste. Okay, now this tuft I've got at the top here, I don't really want that, so while I've got the scissors handy, I'm going to remove that as well. And then you can use a whip finish tool at this point, or you can put a half hitch in. Now I'm just going to add a tiny little bit of super glue to finish this off. So. Another couple of turns, make sure that super glue's catching everything in, and then I'll just put another half hitch in for luck. That's a nice heavy fly on quite a big hook, and there we go. Job's a good one. Now, if I turn it the right way up, the way it's going to swim, you can see the legs probably need a little bit of ruffling out just to give that buggy impression. And there's the little peeping caddis crawling along the bottom. Trout fodder. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so now. Two flies a week, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.